Let's talk about discrete staking rewards. This is like a synthetic staking rewards contract, except the amount of rewards may differ every second. Let's take a look. Let's say that different amount of rewards may be given at every second. For example, let's say at time t1, 100 reward token was given, and at t2, 200 reward was given. At t3, there was no reward given, and at t4, 300 rewards were given. No rewards were given for t5 and t6, and at time equals t7, 200 tokens were rewarded. At the same time, here's the graph that shows the amount of tokens that were staked by different users. So let's say that at t0, Alice stakes 2,000 tokens, and at t6, she withdraws her 2,000 tokens that were staked. At t3, Bob staked 1,000 tokens, and he kept it staked until t8, where he withdrew the 1,000 tokens that he staked. Combining these two graphs, Alice would have earned some of these rewards, and Bob will also have earned some of these rewards. So the question that I want to ask here is, how many rewards did Alice earn and how many rewards did Bob earn? And rewards are distributed proportional to the amount staked. So for example, at T1 and T2, 100 and 200 tokens were rewarded. At the same time, the only user that has their token staked is Alice. So Alice would have earned all of these rewards. At T4, 300 tokens were rewarded. And if you look here at T4, we have Alice and Bob that has staked their token. Alice has staked 2,000 token and Bob has staked 1,000 token. So Alice would have earned two thirds of the rewards and Bob would have earned one third of the rewards that was given here. Let's say that S is the amount of tokens that was staked by user U. And here we'll say that S is a constant for the time TK to TN. And then we'll define a function R of U KN and this will be equal to the rewards earned by user u from time tk to tn. This amount of rewards earned by user u can be calculated by this equation. This is a slight variation of the equation that we saw in synthetics staking rewards contract. And like the algorithm that we used in the synthetic staking reward contract, this part will say that it is called the reward index, and this part will be reward index of the user. When we keep track of these two numbers, we'll be able to calculate the amount of rewards earned by the user. Here we'll say R of i is equal to the reward given at time T of i, and T of i is the total stake at time T of i, where capital T of i is greater than zero. In other words, the total stake is always greater than zero. So with these assumptions, we can calculate the amount of rewards earned by a user using this equation. Let's take a look at an example. For this example, we'll be using these two graphs, and we'll run through an example using this equation. So let's first find the reward index. So I'll drag this over here. And then first we'll compute the reward index for each of these times. So I'll copy this and then arrange them vertically. So first let's find reward index at t equal to zero. We'll name this r of zero. Reward index at time t zero, r of zero is equal to. At t zero, there is no rewards given yet. So we'll say r of zero is equal to zero. At t1, we'll be summing this part of the equation from i equal to 0 to 1. In other words, we will be adding 2 r of 0, r of i over t of i at t1. So this will be equal to r of 1 is equal to r of 0 plus what is r of i at t equals 1. At t equals 1, there was 100 rewards given out. So r of 1 will be 100. What is t of i at t equals 1? t of i, the total supply at t equals 1. Alice is the only user that has staked, so this will be equal to 2000. And that is r of 1. In the same manner, let's compute r of 2. r of 2 is to the previous reward index, we add some amount r of i over t of i. The previous reward index is r of 1. To this, we add r of i over t of i. r of i at t equals 2 is 200. And t of i, the total stake that t equals 2, at t equals 2, the total stake is still 2000. And that is r of 2. Next, notice that we don't have to compute r of 3. The reward index is updated at t of 4 when a new reward is given. So we skip reward index at t equals 3, and then compute the reward index at t equals t4. This will be equal to the previous reward index. The previous reward index is R2, plus we'll need to compute R of i over T of i at T equals T4. R of i is 300, and T of i, the total stake at T4, at T4, the total stake is 3000, and that is reward index R4. Okay, finally, let's compute the last reward index. 
reward index at T7. R7 is equal to the previous reward index is R4 plus the reward given at T7 is 200 and the total stake at T7 is only above for 1000. T of I at T equals 7 is 1000. Now next, we're going to be computing reward index of user Alice and Bob. I'll drag this down to the bottom. Before we apply this equation, notice that the amount staked by Alice is equal to 2000 from the time T0 to T6, and the amount staked by Bob is equal to 1000 from T3 to T8. From T3 to T8, Bob has staked 1000. And the condition to compute this equation is that the amount staked is a constant in some time duration. So we observe here that the amount staked by both Alice and Bob are constant in these durations. So we'll be able to apply this equation to calculate the amount of rewards earned by them. We might need this equation later on, so I'll drag this down to the bottom for now, and let's compute the reward index of each user. Let's start with Alice. Let's say that Alice stakes 2000 token at T0. So the first reward index will be stored for the reward index at T0. The reward index at T0 is R0. The next time Alice interacts with this discrete staking rewards contract and updates her amount of tokens that staked is at T6 when she withdraws all of her tokens. So what is the reward index at T6? If I look over here, we don't have a reward index at T6, so we need to look at the reward index either at T6 or one before. The one before will be R4. This will be the latest reward index. So when Alice withdraws at time T6, the reward index will be R4. Let's do the same for Bob. Let's find the reward index of Bob. So the reward index of Bob is equal to, first he deposits, first he stakes his 1000 token at T3. If we look over here, there is no reward index at T3. So we need to look for the latest reward index before T3, which we find at T2, and this is equal to R2. At time T8, Bob withdraw his 1000 token. So what is the reward index at T8? Again, at T8, there is no reward index. So the one before will be R7. This will be the latest reward index when Bob withdraw his token. Okay, so we now have all of the reward indexes to calculate the amount of rewards earned by each user. Let's start off with Alice. Let's calculate the amount of rewards earned by Alice from T0 to T6. R of Alice from 0 to 6, this will be the function to call to calculate the rewards earned by Alice from T0 to T6. This is equal to, we'll be using this equation. And first, let's find what S is in the duration T0 to T6. If I scroll up, we notice that amount staked by Alice in that duration is 2000. So I'll copy this and then paste it here. And then what are the reward indexes? At T6, this is when Alice withdraws her tokens. At T6, the latest reward index will be R4. I'll paste it here. And before T6, the reward index of Alice will be this part. This will be stored as R0. This is the last time she interacted with this smart contract before she withdrew the tokens. So the reward index of Alice will be R0. Here we'll do a minus and then paste the reward index of user. Okay, let's calculate what this is equal to. To calculate R4, we'll need to know what R2 is and then add 300 over 3000. R2, we need to know R1 plus 200 over 2000. R1, we need to know R0 plus 100 over 2000. And R0 is equal to zero. So if we expand it, R1 will be simply 100 over 2000. R2 will be equal to this plus 200 over 2000. And R4 will be equal to 100 over 2000 plus 200 over 2000 plus 300 over 3000. In other words, to get R4, all we have to do is add these terms vertically. So I'll copy this and then paste it here. So this equation above will be equal to 2000 times 100 over 2000 plus 
200 over 2000 plus 300 over 3000 and this will be equal to 2000 over 2000 will be simply be equal to 100 plus 2000 over 2000 times 200 will be simply be equal to 200 and 2000 over 3000 times 300 this is simply 2 thirds of 300. 1 third of 300 is equal to 100. So 2 thirds of 300 is equal to 200. Okay, let's add these up. 100 plus 200 plus 200, this is equal to 500. Let's scroll up and check the math. Let's check that the rewards earned by Alice is indeed equal to 500. So if I scroll up, at T1, there was 100 rewards given, and Alice was the only user that has staked, so she earns 100. At T2, 200 rewards were given, the only user that has staked is Alice, so now she earned 100 plus 200, which is equal to 300. At T4, there was 300 rewards given, and at T4, there are two users. Alice has staked two-thirds of the total staked. Two-thirds of 300 is equal to 200. So, 300 plus 200 is equal to 500 that you see over here. So, this is the correct answer. Okay, lastly, let's calculate the rewards earned by ball from the duration T3 to T8. And again, we'll be applying this equation. And we can do this since the amount of tokens staked by Bob during this duration is a constant. First, let's scroll up and find what S is. If I scroll up, the total staked by Bob S is equal to 1000. Next, we'll be calculating the reward index and the reward index of Bob. If I scroll up, when Bob unstakes at time t8, the latest reward index will be r7. Before that, Bob interacted with this smart contract, and the reward index of Bob will be stored as r2. Copy these two. And then multiply the 1000 staked by Bob by r7, that is the reward index over here, minus the reward index of Bob will be stored as r2. What is this equal to? This will be equal to 1000 times R7 minus R2. If I scroll up, R7 will be adding all of these terms up. R2 will be adding these two terms. So R7 minus R2, we're left with the term 300 over 3000 and 200 over 1000. So I'll copy these and then paste it here and then bring them over here. Okay, what is this equal to? 1000 over 3000 is equal to 1 third. 1 third times 300 is equal to 100. 100 plus 1000 over 1000 is equal to 1 times 200. So this will be simply 200. 100 plus 200 is equal to 300. Let's scroll up and check our math. So if I scroll up, Bob earned some reward at T4. At T4, there was 300 rewards that were given, and Bob earned one-third the amount of the rewards. One-third of 300 is 100, so Bob here has 100 tokens. At T7, 200 rewards were given. At T7, the only user that staked is Bob, so he earns the full 200. 100 plus 200 is equal to 300. What do we have over here? We have 300. So, 300 is the amount of rewards earned by Bob. In this video, I showed you how to calculate the amount of rewards earned in a discrete staking rewards contract. A discrete staking reward contract, the amount of rewards given may differ at every second. 